Hey guys, we're back, right where we left off. Um, we're gonna follow the Starship automatic guidance like it says there. Let's go ahead and see what's going on. Okay, before we go any further, I just want to go ahead and uh, talk real quickly because I don't feel like I covered it very well. Uh, the way the galaxy map works. Okay, so here's our galaxy map. Now you can see over here, um, if I go to, with my left stick going up and down, I can choose different paths, right? So here I have Free Explorer. Um, there's the galactic core, which is going to lead me towards the center of the universe. Um, there's custom waypoints, black holes, atlas stations, and current mission. Um, our current mission is actually in the system we're in, so that's not available. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now these, um, when, when you look at a system, like we're in the TO GUI system, I guess, um, that first symbol is the GEC symbol. So that means it's a GEC system. Um, so that's a little uh, lizard looking guys. Um, it looks like we're in some kind of technology two-star, two-star technology planet. I believe that's what the, the stopwatch means, is technology. Um, and then the the crossed swords three, that's the conflict level. So it's a level three conflict level, um, which is uh, kind of high. Not, not, not horrible. Um, if we look at like... Uh, and then I, this, the little sun, I'm not sure if that really means anything, to be honest. Let me see if I can find one that's not. The problem, okay, so you can see how there's some red planets back here. There's a blue planet there. There's a green planet over there. I can't quite point to it. Okay, so you can't actually go to those planets unless you have um, hyperdrives that will get you there. Uh, so you have to have upgraded hyperdrives, which we haven't got that point yet, so I can't really show you, but that might be, that symbol might be a sign that's a regular yellow, quote-unquote yellow sign. Um, but here, let's go back over here. So we have our destination, we have Free Explorer. Um, yeah, Galactic Core. Always make sure you check this out. It's, it's usually going to start you off with um, either Galactic Core, which is going to take you towards the center, and it's going to be a straight path. See how it's like just straight charting me out to the center. It just goes way on. Like it's way off that way. Um, and you also you can. Okay we'll go in that a second. Um, Free Explorer gives you the option to kind of go wherever you can, you can go. So like I said I can't really target a red system because I can't go to one. But other than that. Like other than not being able to choose other colored systems. Um, I can kind of go wherever. Like I can go in here. Look at this one. Anomalous signal blocking work. That's I'm being blocked because I have to do this quest first. But that's how that works. Um, so yeah. So usually it's going to start off on Galactic Core or your current mission. Um, so if you're trying to do something other than that, just make sure you're always looking at where it's trying to guide you. Um, now, if you grab with your with your uh, R1 or L, yeah, I just think it's just R1. Um, you can kind of maneuver around the map so you can see I can get a different angle um, So that's your right grip or your R1 button depending on if you're on quest or PSVR 2 Okay, so here like I can see this red star here You can see some more green stars down there. Um, so yeah, so anyways, the, like I said the galaxy is just freaking huge and um, <clears throat> It's really not hard I think there's a limit of about three star systems you can travel in one tank, but um, that actually expands later on too. As you get different upgrades, also eventually you'll have a freighter, you're going to have other other ways of going. The quickest way to get to this, well, we'll, we'll go over, there's a lot There's a lot to this game, but we'll just start with that for right now, that's, that's pretty much the basics. Okay, so we're going to come over here for a fuel source.
Okay, so if I want to rotate, you can rotate left and right with the right stick, but tilting it left or right. I'm not trying to make myself sick or you guys, but I'm just kind of showing you. Um, so if you're inverted, that's a quick way to switch yourself over. Okay. Alright, we're going to land. Oh, there's a monolith. I wonder if that's where it's taking us. Yep, we're going to a monolith. Okay, so monoliths are awesome. I might even... Uh, I'm tempted to set up a base here, to be honest. get some uh, language here. The stone resonates, producing a sound that fills my mind. A vision begins to take shape. A small alien life form reels before me. They are tired, beaten, without meeting my gaze. They offer up their hand. We'll accept knowledge. The name Gek floats in my vision, an echo of the strange vision I just experienced. A word in this alien tongue is seared in my brain. Okay, so we learned the Gek word for Gek. Learn the Gek word for friend. And learn the Gek word for the. Okay, this structure is unlike anything I've encountered in my journey so far. Everything about it is so obviously alien, so obviously out of place. As I stare at it, words from as I stare at it, words form themselves in my mind. A strange fragment of broken speech. Is it Traveler? Is it Friend? Uh, I'm a Traveler. It feels strange responding to questions I am unsure that I am being asked. But something has clearly taken notice of my reply. I am overwhelmed by a sense that something has awoken. Something is watching me. It forms another question. Is it first? Is it last? I'm, I'm last. The, it doesn't really make a difference what you answer on these, just so you know. I do not know how I am being spoken to. This monolith is ancient, and I cannot escape the feeling it has asked these questions many times over. It asks again. Have they seen the crimson eye? Has the crimson eye seen them? I'll say, the eye has seen it. Likelihood of anomaly exceeds safety parameters. Breach detected. Alert, alert. The boundaries fall. The walls collapse. The universe awaits. Find us, traveler. Okay, so we got a warp cell from this, but I think this is going to come in handy. I'm going to see if I can build a quick base site. Uh, I need chromatic metal. Okay, um, let's see what we can do. Sometimes we produce chromatic metal. No, it's a hydrogen. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. Can I build a refiner? Probably. So really all I'm trying to do is quickly build a, um, A claim site. I want to claim the space because it will come in handy later. Do I have any copper? Probably not. I don't want to spend too much time on this. You know what? We'll do it later. And I'm not going to worry about it right now. I don't want to waste your time.
Okay, so see how this is marked with tritium? These, uh, these asteroids are tritium heavy, so if you shoot them, you'll get tritium, which can be used to refill your pulse engine. So that'll keep you going fast. It's really not fun driving around without pulse engine. It's super slow. Okay, um... supposed to be doing? Exploding the right planet's stationary system. So life form who left this trail taught me all I need to move between the stars. Should I continue my I should continue my search? Locate your benefactor. The monolith revealed a strange message. In space, use the galaxy map to search for clues. Okay, see there we go. That's what you need. So if you're not sure what you need to do next, just go ahead and look at your missions. Um, so this mission is Awakenings. That's gonna kind of take you through. That's your start of missions. So. I'm going to look at a galaxy map. Is it just telling us to go to another system? Okay, well I guess it just wants us to go to the next system. So we'll go to the next system. Hyperdrive has no fuel, but we have fuel. Let me go ahead and refill it. Technology okay. So let's go back to our galaxy map. We're just going to continue towards the collective core. I don't have anything else to do. Let's go. Corvex is nice. <coughs> Excuse me. Sosa, you put down. Let's see. I always start the space station. Oh, too close. Here we go, here we go. We got a source. Okay, comms override 16, 16, 16, 16. Okay. Incoming transition transmission, source unknown. You are not alone. Please identify yourself. I'm oh identify yourself. You left me. Why did you? Uh, tell him I don't understand. Of course you'd say that. Of course you'd... <coughs> excuse me. Because... Just like the others. Okay. Ask you or... Ask who I'm speaking to. There is no reply. The communicator falls silent, though the channel remains open. Okay, so we're going to want to go to... Oh, we got, we got coordinates. Let's just go. Lock on by pressing X button. Or on uh flash of the A button. Okay, so 
so now we have a suspicious packet. I want to go ahead and open that right away. Suspicious cyclotron module. Black market modification for cyclotron ballista. Let's go ahead and install it. Um, just put it there for right now. Uh, plus two dam or plus two percent damage, plus eighteen percent fire rate, and plus forty percent dispersion. Okay. Thank you. Okay, we should have coordinates. So when you fight pirates, usually they'll have black market goods. Um, and you can just try to sell them, or you can sell them. I don't have much on my ship at this point, it just makes sense to install it. Okay, so this is the approximate location, but this is almost guaranteed the spot. I don't know, it's not the spot. So either way, it's like not a bad idea to come here and get some data. Okay. About 500 uh, steps away. 500 units away from this spot. Okay, so remember if you're if you're against a wall. Protection. Use your uh, jetpack indefinitely. Since I'm at a slope, it's going to be like staggered like that. When I, once I get to the wall, then it's going to tell me I'm out of. It's going to work. I mean. When I'm in between the wall and when, when I'm not directly against the wall, it's going to act like I have no fuel because I don't. Oh, here we go. Okay, we're going to pause here. This recording got a little long, so I'm going to break it into three pieces just to keep it from getting too unfocused. In part seven, we will pick up with preparing this ship. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, and game on.